Welcome to our second Q&A segment. This month we are touching briefly on Australian Standard AS3637 winding suspension equipment. We have Dan Grant joining us, Reliant Texan Sales and Marketing Manager, to answer your question. So what is the important compliance requirements of AS3637 for mine end users? Uh, yeah, AS3637, it's a fairly complex um, standard and a lot in it, so I'll only briefly touch a couple of things that I wanted to um, mention. Um, but I'd also like to just mention that um, there is some important examination, uh, like daily, weekly, annual inspections that are required. Uh, there are important, uh, the daily ones especially, things like um, checking that uh, shear pins and that are free. So I just would like to mention that we actually do supply, um, uh, we can do cert for um, training and assessment and signing off as, as competent if you would like a training package put together for the people that use shaft equipment, people that should know these compliances. So um, if you are interested in that, feel free to contact me. Uh, but some of the things that I wanted to mention was um, the material, the type A material. Um, it's very uh, important that everything complies to that type A material. So things like chemical uh, properties, uh, mechanical properties, um, and we're very stringent testing our um, steel. We get all the, the tests done um, once we receive our steel. Um, but the reason type A material is used is its elongation properties and ductility. So in a shaft equipment, you know, it could be in an overwind situation. Um, it also is in a cyclic loading situation where basically it's up and down the shaft sometimes 24-7. So we all know steel can fatigue and you can't tell that. Um, so we, that's another reason why we uh, stress relieve all attachments that come back to us for certification um, for that reason to eliminate the, the cyclic loading or fatigue that's put into the steel through cyclic loading. Um, but they're, they're the reason that the material is used is for that purpose. Um, and the other thing I wanted to mention is heat treatment. So in AS3637, it does specify that it's hardened and tempered material. So in our furnace, we harden at around 900 degrees and it's quenched in oil or water. And then we temper back around 610. Um, and our furnaces are fully automated, so we have graphed the, the time, the temperature, and that's documented and kept forever. So we, we know exactly what the steel's been through. Um, but yeah, I, I would like to uh, just, if, if you would like some sort of training package put together so that the guys that use these, I, I find it every time, uh, whenever I go to a mine to talk about these types of attachments, it amazes me that some of the guys that should know this standard back to front don't realise what type of material it is and why that material is used. So I think it's a good idea to have some training, especially even just the guys that on a daily basis are working with this equipment and know what to look for. Um, so if you'd like that sort of training, feel free to contact me or send a question through. So that concludes this month's Q&A segment. Um, thank you to those who send in your questions. Um, please keep your questions coming to darreng at reliancehexam.com.au. You can also head to our website to use our live chat forum um, where we'd be happy to answer your questions immediately. Thank you.